Hello, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to dive into the subject of head gaskets. While we will look at four different types of gaskets, we will also look into other things that you can suggest or provide to your customer so the replacement of these gaskets goes smoothly. Let's get started. There are basically four types of head gaskets. Multi-layer steel, copper, composite, and elastomeric. Each of these has its place in the market depending upon what it's being used for and the application. Many of these types employ such materials as graphite, copper, stainless steel, polymers, and more. When faced with choosing the type of gasket, it is best to consult your gasket manufacturer. If there are multiple applications offered, they will indicate which type is best for your situation you are working on. Extensive information is also available on the manufacturer's website and in their catalogs. Once the type has been decided, the rest is easy, right? Not exactly. When your customer comes in or calls and orders only a head gasket, alarms should go off in your head. This is a very challenging and very involved repair. Replacing a head gasket involves many different systems. Why would they buy just a head gasket when they need all these? They're going to disturb the cooling system, the emission system, and just about every other system you can imagine. How can you disturb all those systems and just replace the head gasket? The answer is you can't. The solution is the head gasket kit. These kits offer all the typical gaskets required to complete the gasket replacement unless otherwise noted. For instance, some jobs recommend the replacement of the head bolts. Kits don't include head bolts, but it suggests that you should be suggesting them. Always watch the notes in your catalog for other items your customers may need. The kit is a best practice because it safeguards against shortcutting a repair. Sneaking a replacement head gasket in somewhere because you can does not mean it's a good idea. During a repair like this, several systems are disturbed and moved. To expect an old gasket to seal after trauma like this is not a good practice. If your customer requests a gasket and you know it's sealing an aluminum surface, for instance, you better pay attention to what else they have in their cart. If you spy a highly abrasive disc for use in their rotary tool, call their attention to the surfacing requirements of an aluminum head. Most require that they be machined rather than abrasively cleaned. That is why several companies offer a chemical gasket remover. This protects the original surface and allows the gasket to work as intended. Why would you remove an intake plenum and leave the old thermostat gasket in there. Just so it can leak or fail and cause a repeat repair in several thousand miles? Not a good idea. Same goes for hoses. They all have to come off. Think of that typical hose removal tool. Shove that between the metal outlet and the hose and poke it around. Think that's stressing that hose that's already well used? You bet it does. Then there are the hose clamps. Would you chance a major engine repair costing over a thousand bucks to a couple of two dollar clamps? Not a good idea. Just think of all the things involved in a head gasket repair. Be sure you are suggesting all those. It might even call for machine work or special tools, if you happen to offer those. Being sure your customer has what they need when they are in the middle of a repair is why they come back to you for their parts needs. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next edition.